I am Jim Waugh. Uh, I do chair the PRM board uh, and uh, it's been a privilege to do that. But today we are dealing with uh, resources for uh, you and your family. Uh, this, this could go on forever and ever. So this is really just a, a brief kind of a list of resources. And again, I wanna give time for others to share uh, resources they found useful if you have something and also uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe to ask a question about where can I find this or that because someone else might know about and we can kind of uh, crowdsource this together here uh, amongst ourselves in, in, in this group today if, if, uh, if we have time here. So um, uh, today we're going to focus on resources for LGBTQ persons and their families and uh, we can and find a myriad of resources. Uh, in fact, <clears throat> one of the challenges is how you curate a list so that it's really helpful to families on specific uh, questions, topics, needs. It's not. A uh, whole lot of help just to give people one big list with two curated, curated lists that can be found on the Strong Family Alliance website, which is the website that uh, Janet Duke and her team in Austin, Texas. Uh, has put up uh, for families when their child has just first come out. But she has some, uh, they have some really excellent resources on there. Uh, and I'm just drawing out some of those even, and we're not going over that whole list. So I would encourage you to check, uh, and I put the uh, the website up here uh, for the uh, resources and materials that they have on their website. And I would encourage you to check that out for yourself. Uh, so, um, the first uh, <clears throat> topic that they have listed on their listing are has to do with books about parenting, which is a good place to start always, of course, uh, when we're talking about children, especially. And uh, so uh, I have not read all these books, but, but they have a listing of, of these books and a description of them. And I'm just going to uh, share something about this based on the uh, material they have. Plus, I'll add, I'm going to add in some of my own suggestions as well to this list. But this book, how to Talk So Kids Will Listen and, li and Listen So Kids Will Talk uh, really is a book not specifically directed toward uh, parents of LGBTQ children, but it is uh, one that focuses on developing good communications habits with your child uh, for the parents. Uh, and and that's, that's, that's very important uh, then uh, uh, for a uh, uh, parent of an LGBTQ child, for example, still, uh, the communication skills that we have. Um, always my child, a parent's guide to understanding you're gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or questioning son or daughter. Uh, this book uh, focuses on parents who are struggling to deal with or accept their questioning coming out teenage children, tries to address questions or issues that arise for a parent after a child comes out. Um, and then unconditional, a guide to loving and supporting your LGBTQ child. Uh, uh, this guide uh, uh, provides parents a framework for uh, helping their LGBTQ child to navigate uh, through a, a world that isn't always welcoming. It can be useful to siblings and extended family as well to provide information, insights, and suggestions how to support the child and find uh, help and support themselves. Someone last week asked about something for siblings. Now, again, I've not read this book. I, I do not know this book. I don't know if anyone else has read it or not, but uh, in this uh, description, it does mention how it can be helpful to extend the family members, for example. Uh, and any number of books in this uh, listing um, would be helpful in that way as well. Um, one I'm adding is uh, from Susan Cottrell, Mom, I'm Gay. Um, this is a, a book about how you can respond as a parent or, uh, or, uh, or loved one. Uh, knowing uh, that you're uh, knowing what you can change and what you can't and recognizing the ways your own response has the power to mend a damaged relationship or push a child away forever. Um, Susan Cottrell comes out of a more conservative evangelical background. Uh, her voice is, uh, is helpful in speaking to those persons who are in more conservative churches. She's also the founder of the Freed Hearts website and Freed Hearts organization, which you may be familiar with, and I'll say more about again later in this presentation. Another book I wanted to lift up today is a book by a, a woman who's going to be coming on our PRN board this next year, uh, Julie Wood, Changing the Message. 
It is a uh, difficult book in many respects because uh, uh, she does share here the story of her son Ben's suicide. Uh, ben was condemned and ostracized by a conservative youth director at his church, which by the way was a United Methodist church. And a few years later, as a college student, he died by suicide. Uh, Julie, in a very transparent way, shares her family story and her son's story. Uh, Julie also shares a story that shows uh, the redemptive uh, uh, love of God and the resiliency of the human spirit in the midst of tragedy. Uh, I was talking to her the other day and she made a, found a relationship with a young man uh, who had been rejected by his family. And uh, uh, she has not officially adopted him, but she has, I think, found some comfort in being able to assist him some and support him some uh, in, in his life uh, as, as a gay man. And uh, uh, so, uh, but uh, it, it, it's a powerful story. Um, another topic area of these books are under the subject of lesbian, gay, bisexual. Uh, the first book listed there is, this is a book for parents of gay kids. And uh, this book focuses uh, mainly on sexuality, but it does include a chapter on gender identity. The book is a primer for parents when their child's questioning or when they've come out. Uh, the format of the book consists of topics by chapter that are then broken down by some very basic questions that parents often would like to have information about when their child's coming out. I, I have this book and I loan this out uh, to parents in the groups that I, I uh, when, when I have one of my, when kids comes out groups that I, I have here locally in the Columbus area. And I found it to be a very popular one among parents and those who are in my group groups. And uh, so that'll be good to share with family members perhaps because it's readable, easy, has a lot of good basic questions in it and answers to those questions. And uh, so uh, I, I, I would uh, recommend that one personally as well. Uh, is it a choice? Answers to the most frequently asked questions about gay and lesbian people. Uh, the description here says it's insightful, no nonsense answers to hundreds of the most commonly asked questions about homosexuality, offering frank insight on everything you've always wanted and needed to know about same gender relationships, coming out, family roles, politics, and much more. Uh, I might look that book up myself. It sounds like a good one. Uh, so, uh, to remember to get my description up here. Straight parents, gay children, keeping your families together. Uh, straight parents, gay children is a survival guide for all parents who wish to help their children cope with the inevitable cruelty from which they cannot hide. Uh, next uh, subject area in this book list is transgender. Uh, the transgender child, a handbook for families and professionals. Uh, written for uh, for parents, by experienced researchers and counselors on gender issues, this book is an informative and essential first read for families of transgender children. The Gender Quest book, a guide for teens uh, and young adults exploring gender identity, is described as a fun and engaging uh, workbook to help teens address their broad range of struggles they may encounter related to gender identity, such as anxiety, isolation, fear, and even depression. To those, I would add, uh, what does God think? Transgender people in the Bible. Uh, this book uh, by Cheryl B. Evans presented with the idea that her transgender child was not of God. Uh, she set out to see what God really thinks about transgender people. This is an invitation to examine the scriptures and give consideration to the social, cultural, and scientific facts that impact what we believe and the way we internally feel about transgender people. Uh, Transforming, the Bi Transforming the Bible and the Lives of Transgender Christians uh, by Austin Hartke. Uh, he is a transgender Christian who has written this book to help other transgender persons, uh, to help pastors, uh, uh, to help allies, and others explore what it means to be transgender and Christian. Uh, he deals seriously with scripture, but he does so in an accessible uh, way. And his book is an affirmation of what it means to be transgender and Christian. And then just under the whole topic of Christian, uh, 
uh, from a Christian perspective. And again, for uh, maybe some of your family members, uh, siblings, others, depending on their age and situation, some of these books will be helpful also. Uh, one of the more popular books and I think well-read books is Torn by Justin Lee. Uh, Torn provides insightful uh, practical guidance for all committed Christians who wonder how to relate to gay friends or family members or who struggle with their own sexuality. Uh, again, it's probably one of the most uh, popular uh, books on this subject, uh, what it means to be Christian and LGBTQ. Um, this is the one I, I use with um, and, and, sent, and, and loan out to parents in, 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 um, in my group, Unclobber, Rethinking Our Misuse of the Bible and Homosexuality. We, we talked about the clobber passages in an earlier presentation. Uh, this book, uh, uh, armed with only six passages in the Bible, often known as the clobber passages, the traditional Christian position has been one that stands against the full inclusion of LGBTQ members. Unclobber re-examines what the Bible says and does not say about homosexuality and breathes fresh life into outdated and inaccurate assumptions and interpretations. This book is also, it's really kind of like two books in one. It's also the story of an evangelical pastor who uh, came to full acceptance of LGBTQ persons. Uh, he had to, he was forced out of one church who was pastoring because of uh, the positions he was taking. And he did then find a more accepting and open congregation where he could serve. But there's a story both of, of him examining his passages and his own uh, life journey, the spiritual journey toward full inclusion of LGBTQ persons. Uh, God and the Gay Christian by Matthew Vines. None of these books that has been around for a while, but is uh, I think we're worth reading. The author combines a detailed mastery of a wide range of material from the ancient world and the Christian tradition. A clear and articulate writing style, a deep commitment to the Christian faith and the incisive judgment that can cut through complex arguments and mountains of data, identify the core issues and their implications for human life. Uh, Bible, gender, sexuality, reforming the church's debate on same-sex relationships by uh, James Brownson, written in order to serve and inform the ongoing debate, many denominations over the questions of homosexuality, Brownson's in-depth study will prove a useful resource for Christians who want to form a considered opinion on this topic. To that, I would add, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, to that, I would add uh, my own suggestion of unfair Christians and the LGBTQ question by John Shore. Uh, this book by Shore uh, contains the uh, uh, essay in, in, in one of his chapters, in fact, it's the first chapter of the book, where he deals with the clobber passages. And in my presentation I did in this series, uh, I used that chapter, it's really an essay uh, that he's written uh, as a basis for my presentation on the clobber passages earlier in, in this series. The book, the rest of the book, really consists of uh, two parts. One is a collection of letters written by gay Christians as they describe their experiences with the church and with Christians. And many of them are very poignant. Uh, some of them have hopeful notes and others speak of their rejection uh, th that these people have experienced in the church. The remainder of the book then consists again of a series of essays written uh, by John Shore in addressing the LGBT issue in the church. Uh, turning then to uh, another list that's on the website, and here's again is the uh, a web address for that. Uh, the Strong Family Alliance also has a very good list of support and advocacy groups, websites, and I'm going to add suggestions on a couple of videos here as well in this. Um, so support organizations. So we switch from books and materials now to groups and activities uh, where you can find support in various ways. And uh, probably the best known, I would say, overall of the groups that have uh, supported uh, LGBTQ persons and their families is PFLAG. Uh, parents, families, friends of lesbians and gays, uh, they have provided support, education, advocacy for families, allies, and LGBTQ individuals. Uh, they do have local support groups for families and LGBTQ youth and extensive reference and information pages online. Uh, PFLAG has been around since about 1972 or 73 
as a support and advocate for LGBTQ persons. The first uh, meeting uh, the woman who founded uh, P Flag was held in a it was held in a, in a in I Methodist church. Um, and there are local P Flag groups in many communities, uh, certainly in urban areas, metropolitan areas. Uh, perhaps not as often in, in small towns, but uh, you, you still may find one in your area. Uh, the other thing I like about P Flag is the organization. They publish booklets that can be purchased in bulk. Or they also make their individual copies of these booklets downloadable for free. So you can download this, make it as a PDF, print it off, and uh, use it yourself or give it to someone. I use these, again, in, in, the, in the groups I lead with parents. And uh, there are several of these are really good. I'm just going to mention a few of them today. One is our children, questions and answers for families of, of uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, gender expansive, queer youth, and adults. This is really a, a, a great, uh, uh, it's a great uh, 101 style resource for parents, caregivers, family members, uh, friends, helping to answer basic questions, provide helpful information when a loved one's come out. Again, this would be a good resource to share with other family members, maybe grandparents, maybe siblings. It's, it's an easy read, it's not a long uh, thing. It, it, <clears throat> you read this early, easily and a little bit and the very, very, very clearly written and understandable and very helpful. Um, on a similar vein, our trans loved ones, questions and answers for parents, families and friends of people who are transgender and gender expansive. And as with the other book, again, it's just very helpful introductory kind of a level to the whole idea of, of uh, what, what is gender identity, and what's it mean that someone's come out as transgender? Uh, and it even breaks it down into children and youth and adults who have come out as transgender. Uh, and again, be a great booklet to give to a friend or family member when a family member has just come out as transgender. These are all available on the PFLAG website under the store. You go to the store link and, and they have their uh, materials available there. And uh, again, you can download these for free. Uh, another one that I like is Faith in Our Families. I've referenced this different times in other discussions here. This booklet uh, does a great job of helping parents and family members think through issues of faith after a family member has come out. And there's a really good discussion in that booklet that helps families who may be facing the decision, can they stay in their current faith home? Or if they need to find a new welcoming uh, church when a member of their family has come out and helping them explore those options. Um, there's a couple other books they have on being a trans ally, being an ally of LGBTQ persons. Uh, there's one also for uh, LGBTQ persons when they have come out. And so there's just a, 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 a bunch of uh, good material on that website. Uh, it gets better. Uh, someone I think mentioned this, I think Janet mentioned this last week, videos and resources aimed at offering hope to uh, young LGBTQ people that it gets better. Uh, can be helpful for parents for insights and understanding their child's experience. The National Center for Transgender Equality, an advocacy project working to change laws and legislation. This help, site also helps help us information about transgender people and some excellent self-help guides. Uh, I would add also then to this, uh, the Strong Family Alliance. Uh, and again, we referenced this many times and uh, this is again, a Janet Duke's uh, project and uh, uh, it has many helpful materials on it. Uh, uh, the Strong Family Alliance uh, is a comprehensive uh, resource focused on family members who are looking for resources when another family member has come out. And the website also contains many resources, including several we've uh, used in these presentations. In addition, there are resources on the website for youth who have come out and who are looking for uh, help uh, uh, help in talking with their parents. In research organizations, uh, some of you may be familiar with the Family Acceptance Project. Caitlin Ryan is a director of that organization. And uh, they've done a lot of good research on uh, LGBTQ youth and their families, the best practices and the importance of family connection and the importance of the family affirming their child. Uh, the aim of the Family Acceptance Project is to research and then inform families about the importance of caring for their LGBTQ family members. It, they have done actual 
research on this. And uh, uh, from their website, you can download posters that uh, can be put up in churches, schools, other public places that talks about the importance of acceptance and of affirmation of LGBTQ youth and children. Uh, and uh, uh, they also have a booklet that uh, you can download that shares some of their research, oops, uh, share some of the research uh, about the importance of families supporting their LGBTQ children. Uh, and again, that's something you could read, you could give to someone else. Um, Faith-based organizations include Freed Hearts. I'm coming back now to Susan Cottrell's organization. It's a Christian organization uh, supporting LGBTQ persons and their families, dealing with family, religious, and community wounds. They offer fee-based courses offered in addition to the support groups. Uh, this group uh, is focused on speaking to parents and families in the evangelical community of, of the faith, but it's really helpful for everyone. Uh, I would add into that mix also then um, our Prince Reconciling Network. Uh, we're offering these virtual port sessions now, uh, but we also have on our on the website and that's a uh, address. It's you'd like to make this easier to find. We're working on that, but you'll find a series of pamphlets there that you could download from the website and they have these titles. Uh, when your child is LGBTQ, uh, supporting our trans and intersex children. Tips for relating to LGBTQ youth. Nine myths about LGBTQ children. Helping our church welcome LGBTQ children. And these be good to use with your family, uh, with a group in your church, uh, with other people who may you may uh, find a way to be helpful to them by sharing with them just a very basic kind of pamphlet you can download and print off and, and share with them from that website. Uh, we're also helping develop some other resources, and Emily's helping us do that, and we're really glad for that. Um, then I just want to mention the on that Strong Family Alliance website for faith-based groups, and we're not going to go through all these today, but there are – it is really the most complete list of groups from various Christian religious groups and from other faiths that I have seen in one place. I mean, there's everything from uh, – uh, Baptist on there to Hindu in terms of uh, groups that people can find in their religious faith tradition to help them uh, think through and live through what it means to be gay, what it means to have a family member who is gay, and to find support there in their own religious tradition. So I just wanted to mention that and also put that up there as another link uh, that you can check out. And I'm just going to uh, close today with a couple of video resources um, and uh, the, for the Bible tells me so it's been around for a while it came out in 2007 it shares uh, several family members uh, stories stories including uh, an interview with the parents of uh, Bishop Gene Robinson who was the first out gay bishop in the Episcopal Church uh, and other stories on there of families it also is a uh, a video segment in there uh, of an animated segment rather on uh, the question is homosexuality of choice. Uh, so some very good basic material, maybe to watch with a group to watch with your family, to help raise questions have conversation about some of these topics. Uh, and uh, it's available through iTunes can be purchased uh, on iTunes or Amazon streaming through iTunes, uh, probably for a fee of course, a uh, few dollars that kind of thing. And then from the same uh, person, uh, Daniel Carslake, he did both of these. More recently in um, 2019, for they know not what they do. Uh, uh, he did this after and has done this since the uh, marriage equality a decision by the Supreme Court. Uh, and it features uh, other uh, stories, uh, of, again, of families and of their, uh, their struggles at times their joy at times. Uh, it, it, this one has the story of Sarah McBride, who you may have heard of. She is a transgender activist who was recently elected now as a state senator in New Jersey. Uh, there's another story of a family who was encouraged to uh, send their 12-year-old son to conversion therapy after he came out. Another story of a, a family with a son struggling with depression uh, after he came out. 
and another one of a Latina family where the uh, their 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 uh, son was uh, uh, involved. He was at present at the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. So uh, that is a summary of very few materials out of all the things that are out there, and I know there are many other good ones. And I would hope that you would have some that uh, you have found helpful and useful, or maybe you're still looking for something and 